Hey everyone, this is Ed Rivera. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about your business's ecosystem. But before I do that, I'm going to give you an example just to explain to you exactly what I mean by that. So let's take Amazon for example. We're all familiar with Amazon.com. We all go to Amazon.com to shop. And we're also familiar with a lot of their products and services. Now, for example, Amazon has quite a few products on their site. And what they try to do is they try to obviously bring you into the website so you can buy the products. Now, let's say, for example, you go to the Amazon website and you just search, but you don't buy anything. What they end up doing is what's called retargeting. And what happens is that's an ad that follows you around the internet. Regardless of what website you go to, that particular product that you were looking at on Amazon tends to follow you around. And that's Amazon's way of retargeting you to get you to come back to their website to buy a product. And if you don't buy a product, also what they do is they'll send you emails every once in a while. They'll email market you so that you can uh, come back and maybe with a coupon or something and buy their products on their website. They also have uh, Alexa Echo products. These are all the, the, the uh, speakers that everyone has with the uh, Alexa uh, software built into it. And a lot of people have these in their home. Uh, Amazon also has Amazon Fire TV. And they also have Amazon Prime. A lot of us are very familiar with Amazon Prime. Uh, with Amazon Prime, of course, aside from them delivering packages where you don't really have to pay, they also have the cloud service, photos and videos on their Amazon Prime. Now, all these products Amazon have is to get you to come back into their ecosystem to buy their products. That's how that is designed. Now, that's an example I wanted to give you to have an understanding of what I mean by ecosystem. Behind me here, I have a layout of an ecosystem. I have several examples of uh, some of the platforms that you may be using for your business. But what I want to do is I want to recommend that you set up your own ecosystem. Now, in my last video, I talked about tactics. Tactics that some people may use. I talked about the technology stack. You can go back and look at that video to become familiar with, with those uh, terms. But here I have tactics that are listed here, and these are all uh, website, email, Instagram, Facebook. Now, what these are is these, of course, is the platforms that businesses use to market their products and services. But I want, want to say one thing here is this, and that I don't see a lot of businesses doing this, and that is that when you're using these platforms to market your product or service, you want to make sure that they all work together they all work together i see a lot of business using some of these platforms and they're using them in in as like silos where they instagram over here facebook over here but they're never really connecting and working with each other and that is a trick that you have to have your own ecosystem where a lot of these platforms work together they have to work together they have to uh, point to each other and what they want to do is you want to have wherever the customer lands let's say for example a customer lands on your website or a customer lands on Facebook, or a customer has seen your ad. What exactly are you doing with these uh, potential customers? Once they land or interact with one of your platforms where you have a presence on, if they land on your website, how do you get this visitor, website visitor, a potential customer to convert into a lead? Because there are two things that we're all trying to do with these platforms. Two things is, one, the first one is, you want these potential customers to become a lead. Now, they become a lead by maybe giving you their phone number or their email address or their regular address because uh, maybe they set up an appointment with you. Maybe they want to demo your product, but you want them to first become a lead. And eventually, as you continue to market to them and build trust over a period of time, eventually you want them to become a customer of yours. But you want them first to become a lead. Secondly, eventually you want them to become a customer because after all, this is pretty much why we're doing all this marketing. We want leads and we want customers. But you want to make sure that all these platforms that you're using, you want them to work together. You want them to work together. Let me give an example of this. Now, right down here, I have a drawing. And pretty much, let's say you have a Facebook ad. You advertise on Facebook, on YouTube, or whatever platform that you like to use. This is an ad. And then you have, once they land on your ad and they click on the ad, you take them to what's called a landing page. These two pages can be on your website, just regular pages on your website. They land on the landing page on your website. Now they can either give the information, let's say the email address, the phone number, however way you have it set up for your business, for them to become a lead, and then they go on to the next page. Now, if they don't give you the email address, then you can uh, retarget them or remarket to them on Facebook. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to bring them back into your ecosystem. If they do give your email a phone number, then you can email them and constantly market to them via email. Now you have them on your database, which is very important. There's your database of leads. You have them on your database. And if not on your database, what you can also do is you can have them on your Facebook Messenger as chatbot database. 
From there, they could go to a uh, thank you page. And from the thank you page, and again, these pages are on your website. A thank you page. And from thank you page, there are a lot of different ways from here. Maybe they, you can send them to a product page on your website. They can go to back into your website. If you're a service company, you can show more of the service on the website. You can take them to your YouTube channel and also maybe a webinar where there's a one-hour demo for your product or service. And maybe they can even buy after that. But again, this is more of a sales funnel. There are a lot of different variations to this you can set this up but this is an example of how these platforms work together to get a potential customer from a lead to the sale once again this is Ed Rivera thanks for watching I'll see you on the internet